Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot for Monday, 5th of November, 2018. Bally Bobs is downstairs seeing what she can see outside. And her mum has been sat on the tarot chair, leaving my black jeans with a nice little white tribute. Okay. This is for all, ooh, all astrological signs. God, that card has come up loads of the zodiac thank you for liking sharing and subscribing and all your comments as well especially with my experimental <laughs> chevron jumper <laughs> thank you for the support <laughs> oh dear there's more to a jumper than fashion sometimes isn't there okay what do we need to know do check out your november readings those are up on the channel at the moment one for each astrological sign and also pick a card reading what's coming in for you in November and then there are other pick a card readings on the playlist I don't normally do this oh my lord okay we're in Scorpio season and we're still in the Venus retrograde Shenan it is testing and tricky and reaching a point where you feel like as all retrogrades do actually i get this when mercury's retrograde which affects me enormously you know i do all my wrong videos <coughs> i start putting all the wrong dates um just all kinds of stuff like that and i always reach a point with mercury retrograde where I completely have had enough, you know, I've lost my purse, I've usually lost a bank card, found an old bank card and tried to use the old bank card and then I, re I cancel the bank card, ask for another one and the other one turns up and there's three and you, it's all that kind of dualistic mercurial shenanigans. Well, I feel that way in Venus. I reach a sort of boiling point where I think, oh, the sort of tension of this feeling. And I've noticed a lot of my readings, all the cards are backwards, even though I've done loads of readings with this pack today and they didn't all come out backwards. <laughs> the energy is quite backwards. Okay, we've got the Six of Swords in the reverse. This is a card of being able to escape. <laughs> Into the Blue. I think that's the name of a great film. Is that right? It had, um, well, you know I can't remember anybody's name. It had one of the Arquette women in it. The Big Blue, I think. Such a good film. Watched it about a million years ago. There's a feeling of being able to ride off, not into the sunset, but certainly into the cool, calm blue waters. Not when it's in the reverse, folks. It's a bit of a feeling of here we are then. We're kind of stuck with this. We need to make the best of it while it is. And I suppose, you know, Venus has gone into Libra and that's something, <laughs> she said. I'm scraping the barrel here. That's something. Because <laughs> I've got the Seven of Swords in the middle in reverse. Now, I don't get actually quite such a violent interpretation of the seven of swords in this reading seven of swords for me is a card never to be ignored but it's also a card to be interpreted with the cards that are around it for me this is more about being political and i'm talking about that in the small domestic sense okay because i know there's a lot going on in that department seven of swords is playing your cards right with the cards you've been dealt so if you're in the retrograde, your cards are reversed, you know, you are playing with a reverse deck. Think of it as that. Doesn't mean you can't play and it doesn't mean you haven't got any cards. You just need to learn how to play with a reverse deck. It's about the ends may justify the means. It's about not blabbing the farm as well. So I would say in terms of work, Certainly in terms of starting businesses, we've got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, 100% go along with that. But also talking about it. And this is really important. And this is something I learned when I was doing creative writing. 
So I write poetry. If I have a great idea and I tell someone, it dies. It, as I've told it, I've told the story. And in which case there isn't the intensity to come as it unfolds in the writing. Now, I think that goes for lots of different things like starting careers, um, inventions, great ideas about um, anything, really. I feel they get lost in the telling. Seven of Swords can indicate when it's in reverse. It's a type of secrecy, but sometimes it's on a need to know basis. And you don't need to know, <laughs> is what you think. This is on a need to know basis and you don't need to know. They don't need to know. So if it's work and you're planning on trying to get that promotion or you're planning on trying to wangle whatever it is and we're all kind of trying to wangle this or wangle that. We've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. I'm not sure I would be sharing that with the boss. I'm not sure I'd be sharing that with anyone. It's not the time particularly for putting dreams into action. It's a time for just having dreams. It's retro. We're not talking, <laughs> it's ret, not tro. That doesn't make sense, does it? It's retro, not whatever the word is for forward, tro. <laughs> I don't know what that word is. Forwardness. Star in reverse. This is about building up manifesting, but it's not the product. You know, when, when you get manifesting in itself, if you're doing things like practicing law of attraction, the journey is long and the last part of it, and I always think when I say this about dry rot, dry rot, and we've said this before, when there was dry rot, you have fronds going underneath the floorboards of the house. Eventually all of these fronds come together and they kind of frond on down with each other and what happens is they produce what they call a fruiting body which is quite um, gross but actually quite amazing looking if you ever google it. Be prepared, it looks like a triffid, like a tropical kind of mushroom flower thing and that's what happens when enough of these frondy things find each other and move together, okay? And that's what the threads of manifesting is all about. It's not the fruiting body time, okay? It's the time for making the fronds. That could be the weirdest analogy I've ever done on Gemstone Tarot. Please leave me a comment <laughs> and let me know. I can just see it now. Gemma, are you okay? <laughs> Have you lost the plot? Probably a long time ago. Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands, again, is about tripling the wand energy and it's in the reverse. But if you look here, this is also someone trying to steal someone's crown. Protect what is yours. Protect your position, but don't give it away, okay? It's on a need-to-know basis. Then, the Two of Pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn, Ways to expand finances. Jupiter, Capricorn, the money. Okay, always want to do my show me the money dance. I love it when he does that dance with the frying pan. You know, Jerry Maguire, show me the money. Show me the money, but don't tell. <laughs> show, don't tell about the money, okay? This can be the side hustle card where you're trying to set something up on the side from work. Don't tell anyone. That's the thing. It's in the upright. This will be good. Now we have an eclipse in Capricorn on the 5th of January or the 6th of January next year. That's the time. That's the fruiting body. To come back to my terrible analogy. Okay. Let's have an oracle card. <laughs> They're like, for the love of God, Gemma, deal that oracle card. Okay. A leg up. Not a leg over, sadly. <laughs> Venus is retrograde, a leg up. I don't know when, but your reticence and your silence 
causes people to help you with this rather than your asking. Oh, I love that card. Freedom. I almost feel like this is a bid for freedom rather than the actual feeling of it because this reading for me doesn't feel that free. It feels like making a bid for freedom. But the freedom isn't quite yet, I'm afraid. And divine guidance. Also, follow the moon cycles. I think they're really important. And I think the eclipses that we're going to get in 2019, particularly in January, are big and material. And they're very causational. I think they're going to make stuff happen. Whereas at the moment, with all these reversals, it does feel quite languid. Sometimes when we're trapped in this languid energy, we want to stir it up and say something and do something. It's on a need to know basis. OK, do share this video and subscribe and hit the wiggly bell if you haven't already so that you get my normal videos, normal videos, my daily videos, my monthly videos and check out my pick a card readings and I'll see you soon. Namaste.